In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at this, which is the Vivistorm 100 inch electric tension motorized screen for ultra short throw projector. We'll be talking about all the main features, the reason why you need it, and if it's worth it. So, what's up, guys, and welcome to a new episode here on Shades of Tech. If you're new to the channel and you don't know me, my name is Fabrizio, but you can call me Fabri. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe, it really helps the channel. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna be talking about all the process of building an home cinema setup, the image quality, the screen, the sound, and all the overall process. So definitely stay tuned for that. Also I made a dedicated video about the 4K HDR10 projector that I'm gonna be using in this video. So definitely check it out. For full disclosure, yes, Vivestorm sent this really nice screen for projector, but I'm not paid or sponsored in any way. So as always, all the opinion in this video are my own. Also, I remove all the monetization from this YouTube video. So if you appreciate that, leave a like. This is the Vivistorm Electric Tension Motorized USDALR screen in the 100 inch size. USD means ultra short throw, so the projector goes really close to the screen. Found a really high standard in the build quality. The metal is really heavy and sturdy, so the overall construction is really robust. And also all the mechanisms are really strong. Of course, it comes both in black and white versions, so you have a color option. So really high build quality means really sturdy metal and so it weighs 30 kilos and it's more than 2.2 meters long so it's really big if you're considering to get one 100 inch is really already big i was used to the 65 inch of my tv so 100 inch in my mind was a lot smaller and i was definitely surprised of how big is this but on the other hand the section is really small it's not very high and it can go really close to the wall. The arms on the back that ensure this really smooth movement are really strong and the mechanism is really sturdy. After I took this really heavy box for 3 floor, the overall unboxing experience was really smooth and easy. Just take it out of the box and connect to power, don't need to make anything else. On the contrary, the wall mounted screens are really hard to put together and to screen the wall and usually I like wall mounted TVs and definitely the wall mounted screens are really cool but are really really hard to put together and to screw to the wall and to give the perfect tension. With this one with just the press of one button on the remote you can open and always have ensured the best tension of the screen. Also the opening is quite fast, just the time to warm up your projector and it's also quite silent. As you probably know, projector in general have always had problems with peak brightness. This is the reason why you go to the cinema which is a dark place. With history and the introduction of LED and laser, also the peak brightness improved a lot but they still tend to be used in a dark place. Well, if you have a screen like this, you can remove this, which is the biggest problem of projector. So why would you need something like this? So the main reason it could be that you don't have an empty wall or another reason could be you have an empty wall, but it's not white. Like in my case, I have a green wall. So it's really hard to keep consistent the colors if your base is green. So in these two situation, you will need a screen. You can have a wall mounted screen or a floor screen or a ceiling screen. Well, you have to choose. The installation process of something like this is really one minute and the installation process of a wall mounted screen, maybe the result aesthetically is nicer, but one, you have always the screen there also when the projector is turned off so you have to sacrifice one part of the wall and two it's really hard to put together and to ensure the perfect tension and alignment with something like this it's just a large box and you place it there and it's convenient just that and then let's be honest this is a niche product so you want something like this if you are spending two to four thousand dollars on an ultra short or really high-end 4k hdr projector 
we're not talking about other people really small niche so if you spend that kind of money for a projector you want to take out most of your hand from your new shiny projector and this is the reason why you want a screen like this it's like having a really high-end gpu in a gaming pc really shiny and then you buy a really crappy 1080p monitor you want a 4k 120 hertz you get a really expensive and high quality projector and you want a good screen and you will see big improvements both in highlights shadows and dynamic range so of course being gray it will be easier to create blacks if you project on a white surface creating blacks is really hard so you might be thinking if it's gray the highlights won't be really good well you are not completely correct because this screen has a particular fabric and technology that has to reflect only the light that comes from the bottom part and deflect or absorbs all the light from coming from above meaning the uh, light from uh, an artificial light or the daylight it means two things one for the projector it's easier to deliver all the light from the screen reflect because projecting is a reflection on the screen so if the screen reflects better for the projector is easier to deliver to your eyes the viewer uh, a viewer part of light and so it translates in more accurate and uh, better colors highlight and highlights and second that you can also watch something like this a tv or movie in daylight or maybe with artificial light in some situation so what's the difference for me it's easier to show you than and then we'll talk about so i was mentioning that blacks are really improved because the screen is gray so you can basically go to contrast from 26 to 80 to 1 to 30 to 60 to 1 so big improvements in the contrast and also the peak brightness being the reflection helped by this particular fabric the peak brightness that is delivered to your eyes is higher this means the contrast is increased it's not of course like an OLED but it's really hard to have an OLED bigger than 65 inch or it gets really really expensive so in this way you can have the best of both worlds really good contrast and also picture size that go from 100 to 150 in. also the color experience is vastly improved because this particular screen is made for ultra short draw projector so it delivers to the viewer only the light from the bottom where it's placed the projector and doesn't reflect the light from above for example artificial light or daylight and here is a practical example with this light torch well, you must admit it's really well engineered. So you might be thinking, well, in person, what's the feeling? What does change? To make it simple, in the easier scenarios, meaning a dark room, you won't see many difference, just the difference of the blacks and the white. If you go to a daylight scenario or even an artificial light scenario, you will see that with a screen you can see the image better or in some cases without the screen you won't be able to see anything like in an artificial light situation or in daylight but with this screen you can remove basically the biggest problem that has always been a projector meaning a dark room and in my opinion it's really cool because you can create some really slick and minimal uh, setups uh, with a media center that hide all the screen and the projector and with one remote you can open the screen and turn on the projector and on that wall you can put a frame or some shelves and uh, so the screen will be open only when you watch the tv or a movie and I think this is really convenient and takes the whole experience of home cinema to the next level. You enter in, in a living room, where is the TV? How cool is that? Press one button and you have your TV 100 inch. Or you can also put it in a place where you wouldn't have a TV, like at the end of one bed. That would be really cool. So, in my opinion, there are not many disadvantages, but I think there is one downside, at least to me, which is 
the not compatibility with Google Home and Alexa Assistant. I really use, if you watch my studio tour, to routines with Google Assistant and a smart home. I have a routine where I say, okay, Google cinema mode, and I close the blinds and turn on all the colored RGB lights and turn off the other lights and turn on the TV and so on. So it will be very cool to have uh, something like this where you say, okay, Google home cinema mode, and it opens the screen projector automatically and turn on the projector. I miss a little bit this kind of integration, but to be honest, I think this could be really easy for them to introduce it with some minor changes. So I won't be astonished if in the next year version they will introduce it. So this will be a really cool statue for that. $1,350. Is it a lot? Well, we have always remembered that we are talking about a sport car niche not many people would afford or need there is nothing bad if you don't want to spend six thousand dollars on a home cinema setup we're talking about niche and we are talking about people that would spend two to four thousand dollars on a projector really high end 4k hdr so for those kind of people i think this one thousand and three hundred dollars mark is really good because first it's convenient you the installation is one minute you just place it and with one button on you deliver the best tension the screen is always perfect and two it's technically engineered to improve the picture again it's like having a really high-end gpu and gaming pc with a really crappy screen so you want to make the most out out of your 4k hdr projector and three it takes in my opinion design to the next level because you can hide it basically in the furniture and in places where you couldn't put a tv and you can create some minimal and good looking setup and really take the home cinema experience to the next level this was my take i totally think this could be worth it if you are if you have an ultra short show projector and let me know what you think in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like or a dislike it works as well and as always stay tuned for the building the new studio coming soon and building the on cinema setup series and as always i'll see you in the next episode ciao